Kyle Mohan Racing. We're going to do a follow-up to our last tech talk. We covered Lightning Mazda rotors, and I happen to have a beautiful set of RX-8 rotors coming through right now going into an RX-8 touring car. And I figured, hey, let's showcase the tips, the tricks, what I like to do to a Mazda RX-8 rotor if it's going into a performance build. So Just like we covered in one of the last videos, make sure to check that out. Lightning. This particular lightning job, you can see that we did a shallow cut to the side face of the rotor on both sides. This is removing just shy of a quarter pound of weight, allowing the rotating mass to be cut down. So just like reducing flywheel weight, it's allowing the horsepower to be used better carrying less weight via each horsepower. It's also putting less strain on the eccentric shaft and allowing a little bit more wobble room at high RPM via the side clearancing for high RPM race motors. If you've ever seen the little burn marks on the tip of a rotor, you want to avoid that. So as you can see, lightened, side clearanced, and balanced. You can't really see any balancing on the rotors. All of the Mazda Tricks balancing is done on the counterweights. Very clean. Also notable, when you're doing this type of lightning and side cutting, it does remove all of the factory uh, markings. However, we're going to be cutting the side seals per each side seal groove, so it doesn't really matter. We'll also be replacing these OEM bearings with race bearings. You can kind of see, even though the rotor has been side cut, you still have uh, the factory step between the gear and the land area. Um, there's always supposed to be very close, roughly a five thou step between your, your land gear area and the tip of the rotor. So you never want to have the gear and tip at the same height. So it's not just a sand it down. That's not how it's done. The tip should be clearanced and matched rotor to rotor and the land areas should have basically the factory step. It's just you're taking the whole rotor and narrowing it up a little bit when you're side clearancing it. Just like when you're balancing, you're taking out a little bit of the extra material that exists in these areas. And, and this is, you, you can remove this material um, to a minimal extent because the factory casting is thicker right here. This is in that same area that uh, the factory does some of its balancing um you really don't want to go too shallow i happen to have an example right here or sorry it's too deep you got to keep it shallow and you can see that they were trying to aggressively cut in that area but it was too thin and that is oil gallery so if you end up with cracking or uh, too thin in those those pocketed areas that can lead to rotor failure motor failure and in this case uh this rotor via this machine work is now useless. So really there was no point in, in doing uh, an aggressive pocket right there. You can see how uh, this uh, machine work has been done, uh, probably achieving the same amount of weight reduction and running way less of a chance of any type of damage to the rotor. So just things you see, I prefer this type of lightning. Um, if you're doing a hybrid motor, you would have to deepen your apex seal grooves. Um, this is not a hybrid motor. This is not a boosted motor. This is getting the most out of a naturally aspirated RX-8 motor. So definitely going to send these out to WPC treatment as well. And there you have it. Lightweight, side clearanced, balanced RX-8 rotors to make for good performance, longevity, and I mean, you wanna win races, right? So why leave that extra weight in there? Why not rev it as high as you can? There you go, KMR Tech Talk, RX-8 Rotors, ask questions. Uh, you know, we're coming up with topics. We'll probably do some more on rotors. We're gonna cover some more on porting soon. And uh, we're just trying to showcase 
what we have seen work, what we have seen fail, and what we have learned building and racing rotaries for the past 20 years. KMR, Tech Talk, make sure to follow, say hi, we do rotary things.